Hello friends, Tax Master, welcome back. So, show more. So, in our previous video, we will test this all circuit which are display on screen. So, now we conclude the final result at all terminal point. So point two is transistor base at all. So we left our topic at point two. So at all terminal one emitter terminal two is base. Terminal base and terminal C collector because the test result of and. Uh, at terminal one is emitter terminal one is emitter why terminal one is emitter because terminal one is emitter and terminal three is collector because collector have low value so major points one to overload that this is the summarized table of our testing some measuring point one two overload one three overload two one zero point seven double three two three zero point seven two eight p d c three one o l three two o l finding base of transistor at ma as mentioned in the above tutorial the common number found in the test above is base in our second second terminal is base and second is common out of one two and two three second method using digital multimeter to find the base of transistor if you don't the same pattern and connecting method of a multimeter so multimeter leads and transistor terminal one by one and the d and c the red test lead is connected to the middle one terminal on lead and the black test lead is connected to the first one terminal of transistor again the red test lead is connected to the middle one of lead and the black test lead is connected to the third and terminal of transistor and multimeter shows some reading 0.71 the case bc and pn the commonly lead is second one connected to the red test lead and the other two leads connected which is base the case is reverse in case bc pn pn transistor npn or pnp is it's simple if the black test lead of multimeter is connected to the base of transistor then it is pnp transistor and when red test lead is connected to the base of transistor and pn transistor emitter or collector emitter forward bias is greater than cbc eb forward bias is greater than cbc is pnp transistor has it is Hence, it is PNP transistor. Is NP transistor BE forward bias is greater than base collector? So, first then PNP transistor. Here the conclusion point two is transistor base in BC five four time transistor. Is it we are the second metal transistor connected to red lead or multimeter at all terminal? One equal to emitter, terminal two equal to base, and terminal three equal to collector BC and film because the test result of one two three is a resistor because the test result of one two three is zero point one seven volt and the two three of zero point seven normal one volt DC. The measuring point result BC five four seven NPN one two zero point seven one seven VDC one two OL one three OL the OL mean is overloaded. So two three is OL two three 
zero point seven double one VDC check transistor with analog or digital multimeter ohm range mode. It said disconnect the power supply to the circuit and remove the transistor from the circuit. Rotate the selector. Switch and put the multimeter knob in ohm range. Connect the black common of VE tessellate or multimeter to first terminal and the transistor and red lead to the second terminal. You have to perform six tests by connecting the black test lead to one, two, two, one, two, three, T W O two, two O N E one, two, three, three, two, one, three, two, two, respectively by just replacing the multimeter test leads or reverse the transistor terminal to reverse. Connect test measure and note the reading in the table show below number in red color show the transistor lead connected to the red test lead of multimeter and the number of black colored show transistor lead connected to the black test lead and the multimeter better explanation in the table for if the multimeter show high resistance in both first and second test by changing the polarity either of transistor or multimeter as show only two tests out of six as mentioned above in our case second terminal of transistor is best because it show high resistance in both test of two to three and three to two where red test relate of multimeter is connected to second terminal of transistor in other words, the common number in test is B, which is 2 out of 1, 2, 3. So, we enlarge this image and deeply discuss about image. So, we wait for pixels loaded so here high resistance checking method is available of a transistor so you will see on your screen if the multimeter show high resistance fig H reverse bias and low resistance forward bias then p is n if the multimeter high resistance low resistance 3 so this is npn transistor multimeter show high resistance in edge in lag 3 and the load reverse so here is some outputs of our leads measure of circuits so we see the testing of our transistor in an efficient way so pnp or npn now it is npn transistor because it show reading only when the red test lead is connected to the base of transistor if you if you do the reverse black lead of multimeter connected to transistor terminal in sequence and show reading both test still base but the transistor is pnp check the transistor in digital multimeter with transistor hef or beta mode hf also known as beta sdc gain standard hybrid parameter forward current gain common emitter used to measure the hfe of a transistor which can be found by the following formula it also can be used to check a transistor its spin terminal 
to check a transistor chip mode here is the beta pin slot is multimeter indicated by pnp and as well as ecb simply put the three pins of transistor in multimeter slot one by one in different slot ecb and cb rotatory knob should be hfe mode if they display reading it would be the HFE reading of transistor. In our example, we use BC transistor which show the beta value of the current position of CB slot or the exact terminal of transistor collector B is in emitter. Transistor is a good position, otherwise, place with new one. So let how to calculate find the rating transformer. So here is the related topic how to check a capacitor. So we will see also this. In most electrical and electronics troubleshooting and repairing works, we face a common problem with capacitor where they want to know how to test and check a capacitor or open or short. So here we can check a capacitor with analog as well as digital multimeter. Either of capacitor is good condition or should we replace it with a brand new one? So to find the value of capacitance you need an analog or digital multimeter with capacitance measuring features. Below are 8 methods to check test. Capacitor is good, defective, open, death, short. So test a capacitor using digital multimeter resistance mode to test capacitor by a digital multimeter with a resistance or a home mode following the step given below. So we will discuss this type of method in our next video how to test capacitor using digital or uh, analog multimeter. So our topic is end. So in this video we will see how to check a transistor and how to find a transistor is NPN or PNP so i hope you all understand this how to learn online so our aim is to provide online learning and self-study how students learn self not depend on coaching so